Hello, and welcome to Variety Tech Today. This time, it'll be a special episode about Star Wars home video. Instead of coming from a real-world perspective about the various formats throughout the years, instead, we're going to be going from the perspective of in-universe chronology. Yes, how can you watch this complete fictional narrative so far, ever-expanding, in its intended chronological order. Let's start with the earliest movie. I have it here as part of uh, the Star Wars Complete Saga Blu-ray set. And that first movie would be Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. It was released in 3D, but unfortunately not yet available on home video. In that movie, set during the waning days of the Republic, the Sith, long thought to be gone, are staging their return. Also, Anakin Skywalker, the future Chosen One, is also found. Then there's Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. Skywalker grows up as a Padawan. He also falls in love with his future wife, Padme. And the Clone Wars, which is a big deception by Sidious, a.k.a. Palpatine, begin at the very end of the film. And then there was Clone Wars which was a 2D animated television series on Cartoon Network. Here we get to see a lot of the battles and occurrences during the Clone Wars, while Anakin was still a Padawan. We're also introduced to the character of Asajj Ventress and others. And then we get into The Clone Wars, aka the CGI animated series. This is the theatrical film that started it off. And then it ran for five seasons on Cartoon Network. These are those five seasons on Blu-ray. This expanded the universe and the world enormously. Introducing characters like Chewbacca, Darth Maul, etc. and getting familiar with many of the clones as individuals. And then after the Clone Wars left Cartoon Network, material still kept coming out. There was the Lost Missions, which was uh, basically the sixth season. This provided even more good details that fleshed out the prequel trilogy, such as more information about the Force itself, and even about Order 66 and what it was all about and what led to it. And then we get back to that old 2D animated series, which preceded the other Clone Wars series. Just keep in mind the first episode on this disc takes place before the series we just went through. It shows Anakin ending his time as a Padawan and getting the appearance he has in Star Wars Episode 3, as you'll see there. And the rest of Volume 2, especially the last episode, leads up directly to the beginning of the next movie, which would be Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. And then there was an old 80s television series, Star Wars Droids, and that takes place 15 years before the original film, so about f five years or so uh, after Episode Three. That series ran for one season, and it ended with a television uh, movie special called The Great Heap which actually takes place before the last story arc in that series. And then there's Solo, a Star Wars story. This is the first one in the timeline that is uh, available in 3D. And this takes place about 10 years before the first movie. And then there's Star Wars Rebels, which takes place about five years before the first movie. As a matter of fact, one of the main characters in the series, Ezra Bridger, is the same age as Luke and Leia. That was the first season. Now here's season two. And the rest. And then that leads to Rogue One, a Star Wars story, which was the first spin-off film. This was the special version, Target exclusive, that had the 3D Blu-ray inside, as well as collectible packaging. 
And then, as many know, Rogue One led directly into the first scene of the original Star Wars movie, which came to be known as Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. And then there's the Star Wars Holiday Special, which has never been officially released on home video, but there are good quality copies on the internet. And then there was Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back, where Luke continues his Jedi training and he meets Yoda. And of course he learns the truth that Darth Vader is his father. And then, in the 80s, there were also a couple made-for-television films. They were theatrically released in Europe, but over here they were made for TV. About Ewoks, you got two, there were two live-action Ewok films called Caravan of Courage, an Ewok Adventure, and the Ewoks, The Battle for Endor. And those are both on this single DVD. And then there was the animated Ewoks television series, which ran for two seasons. Much like the two Ewok movies, they were miscellaneous adventures that had no bearing on the saga as a whole. However, the very last episode of the Ewoks animated series showed them being introduced to the Empire, coming to their planet, or their moon, for the first time. And that, of course, leads to Star Wars Episode Six. Return of the Jedi, the end of the original trilogy, where Luke Skywalker is now a Jedi Knight, and Darth Vader reverts to being Anakin Skywalker, the Chosen One, ending the reign of tyranny of Darth Sidious. Then there's the currently airing Star Wars Resistance Season 1, which is another animated series, and that leads to the next trilogy, the first movie of which is Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. This is the special 3D version with the lenticular cover. It's actually the only Star Wars 3D Blu-ray that has a lenticular cover in wide release. That reintroduces us to Luke, Han, and Leia, as well as the new hero, Rey, and the new villain, Ben Solo, a.k.a. Kylo Ren. Then there's Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. This is the 3D version from Europe. In this movie, we're in this movie we really get to know Luke Skywalker as he's become, and he goes out with a bang, to say the least. So what's next? That would be Star Wars Episode Nine, title as of yet unknown, at the time of this filming, of course. I'll see you next time. MTFBWY.